We're standing in a hallway that currently goes underneath the north portico, but when the house opened in 1800, would have been exposed to the outdoors, and all of this wall that's currently not painted would have been painted white, as was the rest of the house, to help protect the original sandstone walls. So this shows what the White House would look like without its coat of paint, this kind of soft beige sandstone quarried in nearby Virginia, and shows an area of dark black marks up near the top of the doorway, which are believed to be remnants of the fire of 1814, when the British burnt the White House during the War of 1812. And each of the doorways and windows acted as something of a chimney, and the flames licked out around the upper parts of the exposed areas. President Madison came back from the battlefield, found dinner set for Lady Dolly Madison, gone. And Mrs. Madison had left the house with the famous portrait of George Washington that hangs in the East Room. He and his cabinet quickly left as well. And then later that night, the British arrived and ate the dinner and then set fire to the building. So I am a little embarrassed as I stand here to think that 200 years ago, my ancestors tried to burn this place down. <laughs> now, looking around me, I can see you've got the place a little better defended today. <laughs> You're clearly not taking any risks with the Brits this time. <laughs>